Hey guys, it's Jared from JT Electrical Group. This is gonna be a quick video of a retrofitted Victron system that we've done on this Network RV. It's a tough terrain off-road model. We've retrofitted the Victron system underneath the bench seat here, and then we've still used the outside chassis mounted battery boxes. The van has 600 amp hours of lithium, so two 300 amp hour lithiums, two 30 amp solar controllers for the five 200 watt solar panels on the roof, a 50 amp Victron DC charger, 12 3000 multiplus, so 3 kVA inverter, and a 120 amp charger, and the Serbo GX Mark II with the seven inch screen that we've retrofitted up onto the wall of the van. So we'll give you a look. As we come into this network RV van, the first thing that we're gonna see once you do a U-turn is the seven inch servo screen that we have mounted on the wall. Same setup as the other ones, no tanks or temps on this one, but double solar controller, single 50 amp DC charger, and the three KVA inverter. So I'm just gonna turn that to on. That beep was the aircon getting power. And now we can see, yep, our inverter's on and the AC input's gone because we have disconnected that for the moment. Now underneath the bench seat, you'll see here is our retrofitted Victron system. 3 kVA inverter, 50 amp DC charger, 230 amp solar controllers, servo mark II, midi fuses, circuit breaker, grounding points, and then all our AC work as well. With the heaviness of the multiplus, we did have to beef up the back wall a bit, just keeping it in with the factory screw plugs. Uh, we've done the AC wiring and ran the AC input and output to up the top. So we've got two circuit breakers up here. One's AC input and one is for the aircon. So at the moment, all right, we've got the inverter running. I'm gonna turn on the aircon. Okay, so now we've got the aircon on, on 30 degrees. So we'll wait for the wattage to go up. It should be uh, over a thousand watts once it's fully cranking. So we can see the aircon slowly using more and more power, pulling roughly 80 amps off the battery system. Now, I know that's gonna go up a little bit more still, the wattage of that aircon unit, but I'll turn on the kettle. Okay, so now that kettle is also gonna be running. We're pulling 2,800 watts and 300 amps off the battery system. Now, while this is all running, what I'm gonna do is turn on our shore power and then we can watch what it does once it flicks over so the multiplus has just flicked over still running both the aircon and the kettle but we have additional power that's not being used from our mains power input so we're still charging at 18 19 amps okay and we're still running the kettle and the aircon and we're still getting charge in. Now it's up to 20 amps, okay? If I turn off the kettle, that charge will go up to north of 100 amps now, and the aircon is still pulling 1,000 watts. Obviously, you're limited here with your grid of what you're plugging into, but that's the biggest perk of the Victron Multi Plus. It's all automatic. If, like, everything's protected, so we've got an RCD protection here for the power points in the van, and then we've got an RCD protection up here for the aircon. These ones were factory, so we just rewired them, but they have stayed as is. But that right there is a perfect example of why we use the MultiPlus unit. And on this screen, it gives you a perfect reason, or a perfect layout, I guess, and you can see exactly what's coming from where, charge-wise. So we'll charge these batteries up now for the customer as they're gonna pick it up later today. So the batteries at 100% when they pick it up. Now to keep the solar system compliant with the AS3001 wiring rules, the solar controller that used to be in the van was up here. So we've now replaced that and done our two solar isolating switches. So he's got two strings up on the roof. One solar string is three 200 watt panels. That's running through solar one. And then solar two is the two 200 watt solar panels. So that's our isolators for both of these two solar controllers. The solar controllers are labeled, and then you've also got an output charging fuse for each solar controller as well. 
I've got my laptop here because we're gonna go through all the programming and the process of doing the programming, doing it properly. Now, the laptop is here just for the MultiPlus units, a three KVA MultiPlus. That is because I have to use a specific Victron adapter to then bring it up on my laptop. You can't do the MultiPlus through your phone. And then we've got a specific Victron Professionals password that we have gotten from Victron Professionals specific to us for the MultiPlus. Now, you get a whole lot of these with the Victron gear, which basically gives you serial number, part number, Bluetooth pin code, uh, which I'll end up changing anyway, so that I change all our systems so that all the pin codes across the whole uh, Bluetooth app, everything's the same. And we have a specific pin code that we use for every system so that we know that we've touched the system or we did the system and no one's reset any of the devices since then. DC charger, two solar controllers. We've got a smart shunt outside at the batteries. Like I said, the MultiPlus. We've got the Servo GX Mark II inside and then the Servo GX screen. Now this is still running the old user interface. So I'll connect it to the Wi-Fi now, update it to update the software and update it to the new user interface. And then I've already done a system test and basically just got to put the van back together and then I'll do uh, the customer's video for this van and then hand it over later today. So that's the network RV caravan that we've just done with a full Victron retro fit out. This customer is going to get documentation of the system, all the parts, all the serial numbers, all the warranties, including batteries and whatnot. We're liable for the warranties for this system as the, the Victron dealer. He's going to get a certificate from myself with our license on there to say that the system's been installed by a licensed electrician. The system complies with all the AS3001 uh, installation laws. They take that to the insurer, and then the insurer is gonna have no reason to not insure them for this caravan, plus add the value of the upgrades to the caravan. A lot of customers we find don't go the full kit and caboodle with the uh, servo screen. I highly recommend it, because as you can see, it gives such a nice layout, and if you do ever pre-sell the van, the customer that's coming to buy the van can see that. Okay, sweet, we know the electrical system's covered. It's been done right. We can see everything on one screen, all our inputs, all our outputs. We know it's gonna be fine and it gives the buying person confidence as to what they're buying is been done correctly. Uh, if you are buying a second-hand van and it has a system like this, ask for the electrical certificate, okay? So I uh, give our customers complete permission to give our electrical certificate to someone who is gonna buy the van, okay? It, it adds as a resale uh, value. And then I'll upload a personalized customer video for this system and a troubleshooting, which then they can send to the person who buys the caravan as well. He's got 600 amp hours, he could go a little bit more, but he's got a lot of solar on the roof as well. He's got a kilowatt of solar, so, with the two solar controllers, he's not gonna be losing any any charge as such, unless he's using, I don't know, cooking for a small family and using a double induction cooker every night and there's no sun during the day. He's gonna be getting at least sort of 40 to 50 amps of solar in from the arrays on the roof. And then while he's driving, his DC charger can be putting in up, up to 50 amps. So could be getting at least up to like 100 amps whilst he's driving down the road, which on a 600 amp hour system, that's six hours of, of driving and good sun will recharge the whole system from flat to full. This is something that you've got any questions about, ask any questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. We'll see you on the next video.